Hey guys, Kayla here from Journey Dog Training with my dog Barley and we're going to talk a little bit about how to teach your dog to do the, uh, the snoot challenge which is that new challenge that's all over Instagram where your dog puts his nose through your fingers like this, like this, like this, whatever you guys want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the heart because I think it's really cute. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how to shape this behavior. So if you guys aren't familiar, shaping is where instead of using treats to convince the dog to do what we want um, by luring him, we're actually going to try to get him to do it on his own and then reward him when he decides to do it. Um, it's just a fun way to kind of boost your own dog's creativity, test your own training skills. It also helps avoid the problem of, my dog will only do it when I've got treats in my hand, um, which, you know, it's pretty hard to film something, give treats, and have your dog stick his nose through your hands all at the same time. So, uh, pretty beneficial. So, I'm gonna back up a little bit here. Come here, bud. Barley has not done this yet before. I have some kibble here, and I'm going to be using the verbal marker good. So if you hear me say good, that's because Barley just did what I want, and I am going to give him a treat. He knows that, I know that, now you guys know that. Um, so what you guys are gonna see me do is I'm going to offer the little heart. If he makes any movement towards the heart with his nose, I'm going to go ahead and say good and then reward. So, come on, over here. I'm gonna try to get him in frame. Oh, and he rolled over. You guys missed it, super cute. So, and just wait. Good. Okay, sit. Go. Now he's actually in frame. he's done chewing. Good. Good. And what I'm doing here is I'm actually waiting for him to get his nose more into the heart rather than just kind of touching it. At first, if he just touched the, the, the my hands with his nose, then he's getting a reward. Now I'm waiting for him to actually put his nose a little bit more through it. Now, a big important part of these really cute Instagram videos is that the dog actually comes running up into your hands and it's super duper cute. So I'm going to now start tossing the treat away from me so that Barley gets used to moving back towards um, towards my hands with his nose. So here we go. Good. Toss the treat, make him go get it. When he turns around, back up. Mm -hmm. Just keep waiting. Neighbor's dog started barking. It's okay. Good boy. Good job. It's okay. Good boy. Yeah. Here. High five. Good. Down. Good boy. Roll over. Good job. High five. Barley. <coughs> Barley. Okay. We might be done training right now. Hold on now. Good boy. High five. Good job. So what I'm doing right now, um, while Barley is really distracted and concerned about these people over here, is I'm just asking him to do some really easy, um, fun behaviors for both of us to kind of distract him, try to get his focus back. Down. Roll over. And we'll try again. Good. Good boy. Good. So 
you guys got a little bonus there of how I deal with my dog when he gets good really distracted and concerned about strange noises outside. Barley can be a little bit jumpy with weird noises when he can't see what's going on. So that's not totally unusual for him. Um, and that's how I tend to deal with it. Um, generally, I also would probably remove him from the situation if possible. Um, but I wanted to get you guys to see uh, kind of what it was. So he's pretty distracted. He's still kind of looking out over there. Usually he'll come right back and re-engage with me with training. So he's still definitely a little bit distracted. We'll do a little bit more here. Barley! Good job. Good. Oh, that was a nice one. That was a good one. All right, so we'll do one last one where you guys can see a little bit more what it looks like. Barley. Make sure you guys can see it. Good. So it's not perfect, but it's pretty darn good. Um, that is the start for it. Um, and what I would do if I really, uh, and maybe I'll try to get a finished product up for you guys eventually, what I would really like to see eventually is him actually putting his nose kind of all the way through rather than just kind of touching that heart. But for now, that little heart touch will work for us. Um, pretty good for a single training session. Uh, and it looks like our training session over is over since now he's bringing me sticks. So that's that for now. Bye.